What's up, Sooner Nation? Welcome back to the Sooner Surge. Thanks for being subscribed to our channel. If you're not, please do so. It is postseason time in Oklahoma. The brackets have been released. OU in an unfamiliar position, Braden, the number two overall seed entering uh, the regional assignments as they've been released tonight. Uh, and the Sooners, the number two seed, I don't think it's much of a surprise to a lot of people. Texas, the overall number one team entering the tournament. And the Sooners face Cleveland State, the winner of the Horizon Tournament. Uh, they play them Friday night at 7 o'clock at Love's Field. That is the second game of the day. First game will be between Boston University, a team that is very, very, very hot right now, uh, has elite pitching against a very good Pac-12 opponent in Oregon uh, with a familiar face on that sideline. So, yeah, opening thoughts, Braden. What are your thoughts on the bracket and uh, OU heading into the postseason? I'm not, I'm not really shocked at what they got seeded, just the way they played against Texas in the first last month. And then I really don't know much about the teams except for Oregon. Yeah, I mean, all I know is everyone's talking about Boston University. 52-4-1 uh, and one is their record. I think their ERA is something ridiculous, like a 1.62 team ERA. Now, know, we, go ahead. I know they have a good pitcher. Yeah, their ace is really good. Yeah. And they're not in a big-time conference. That's the only thing that you could say, well, maybe that's not going to uh, translate into the postseason. But we've seen teams in the past, like James Madison, and others make postseason runs because of one pitcher. And maybe Boston's the team to do that. I don't know. Uh, I think OU needs to get a good start uh, against Cleveland State, though. Yeah, just like they did last night. Get off to a good start. Yeah, they seem to have come around and found something uh, after that Big 12 tournament showing. What What is different about them? Uh, I know Patty Gasso talked a lot about trying to get some hit and runs in place to where these – uh, to whether swinging earlier in the count and not being as patient. Anything else you've noticed uh, just in watching the Big 12 tournament? Just Jada Coleman Bunny, that squeeze bunt. Yeah, and she's not the only one. There are several girls that try to lay down bunts. So, there, it, yeah, it's, it seems like Gasso is trying to get them to do different things. Just if the home run's not there, small ball. And they can do small ball. They don't have to be long ball hitters. That's the thing. Manufacture runs. That's fine. Except if you're Ella Parker right now. <laughs> if you're Ella Parker, keep doing what you're doing, Ella. And she, hey, she's pretty quick. She hit a little, uh, you know, grounder and beat the throw out. Yeah, and earlier in the year, she led the team in stolen bases. But right now, she's hitting bombs, dude. Absolute bombs. I loved what I saw from the pitching staff. I loved Nicole May in relief, Braden. Yes. That's the way it should be. Her drop ball, <laughs> nasty curve. Yeah. Oof. And I yeah. thought Maxwell was – she was calm. I mean – Maxwell was really good. So, as yeah. you look at the bracket, obviously Texas has won. And what is looming is if everything goes the way it should go, the Super Regionals will be OU versus Missouri, Texas – versus Stanford. Well, I, I think I think OU dodged a bullet staying away from Stanford. Yeah, I agree. I yeah. thought – no, it said Texas will play the uh, Texas A&M Regional. Yeah, I'm talking about the, if it gets to the World Series, yeah. Uh, if it all goes chalk to the World Series, it would be Texas – yeah, you're right though, Brayden. Super Regional is Texas versus Texas A&M. Yeah. And OU in the Super Regional is Florida State. Yeah, I wouldn't mind to play them again. Yeah, I mean, Flaherty's good. Florida State would be a, a good matchup. And, and then in the Super Regional, you got to win two of three. It's a three-game set. you got to right. win two of them. So, right. yeah, that could be a, a good opponent. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Because we got the Tallahassee, right? Well, yeah, that's who we're going to get in the Super Regional. It'll be, it'll be at Love's Field, though. Yeah, right. Yeah, I mean, you're, you are very correct. It's going to be the Tallahassee Regional. 
Uh, I'm trying to remember. Florida State's in there. Auburn's in there. Uh, UCF is in there. And yeah. one other one. Yeah. But Is it Grand Canyon? No, I think they're in UCLA's. It's going to be Florida State in my book. Yeah, I agree. They're, they're going to come out of that, and you're going to have a good matchup in that Super Regional, which Super Regional should be a good matchup. And then if everything goes to chalk, it is going to be Texas, Stanford, OU, Missouri. I'm not really, I'm not really worried. No, we'll take care of business. They're hot right now. Yeah, they I mean, they found something. We we said it last week, Braden. Yeah, the sleeping giant was asleep, not dead. Okay. Yeah. It, but uh, back to Jada's center field catch. Unreal. And the thing is, if Jada, if the defense is going to back up the pitchers with the great defense that we know they're capable of, this yeah. team's going to be almost impossible to beat if OU does it. If OU does their thing, they're winning four straight. Yeah. Facts. I agree. Yeah. But you got to do your thing. Got to one game at a time. Yep. And it starts with Cleveland State, Braden. I don't know much about them except they just won their tournament. They just won their tournament. But OU needs to start hot and not let any doubt creep into their minds. Who, let's predict, who do they pitch? I think Patty Gass is going to want to make a statement early. So I, I would be shocked if they're not pick, pitching uh, Maxwell. But I think what we'll see is like Maxwell an inning, May an inning, Dylan inning, Monticelli an inning, four game, four inning run rule. That's what I expect to see. Yeah. What are you thinking? I want to say deal. The way she's been pitching. And it could be where they go deal early and see if she can get hot and ride with her a lot of games. Or maybe Keeney. Keeney's been there in big moments before. She's pitched a lot of innings. Like I say, she's got that screwball. And she's going to be valuable. She's going to be very valuable in, in uh, the postseason. But yeah. Yeah, it starts, starts Friday night, 7 o'clock. Loves Field again. That's not the first game of the regional. You got Boston U versus Oregon in the first game. But uh, I know one thing: the Sooner Surge is going to have much, much, many tons, whatever you want to say, coverage this week. Uh, Brain will be on some. Hunter, the guys will be on it. Uh, make sure you're subscribed because we're going to break down everything uh, as much as we can leading up into this first game against Cleveland State. So thanks for watching the content. Here at the Sooner Surge, it all gets started Friday. We can't wait. Love's Field, 7 p.m. Till next time, Boomer. Sooner.